Harding, this is what the last day on site here today, is that right? Yeah, the end of uh, three days of hard graft, I hope. <laughs> I've seen you tearing about a bit. What have you discovered? Well, it, it, it's interesting. I mean, we came here with this, this um, project to, to re-examine whether or not there was a small Roman fort here. There was a bunch of um, local archaeologists who thought that they had really good evidence for a small Roman fort. And so we want to come here and uh, see whether we could find that. And also to try and place it into context uh, a whole load of metalworking finds that have been coming up from, from metal detecting. And I think in both counts we've, we've, we've got answers. What answers have you got? I'm not going to tell you all the answers. We'd have to see the programme, <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> um, suffice it to say that um, I think probably I'll give you 50% of the answers. Uh, we haven't found the fort. But it, it, there are some interesting reasons why it's not there, and I think it, it's it's a very um, it's a very important lesson to anybody who does archaeology that the, basically the geology can sometimes play very very nasty tricks on you, and archaeology, like everything else, is is very much a a science of experience and learning and and what have you. Although I would never in, uh, discourage anybody from getting involved with it sometimes it needs a more perhaps experienced eye and a little bit more um, knowledge and just to put an alternative interpretation on what people have found do you pick up a lot from amateur archaeologists pick that, up a lot that, yeah as, as a lead into something like yes you know, yeah i mean there, there are there are a great number of of local amateur archaeological groups right the way across the country um, and I mean in a lot of cases a lot of them have been doing good work for donkey's years it's, it's the way archaeology started uh, it's certainly the way I started and um, up until a few years ago most archaeology or a lot of archaeology was done by local amateur groups um, like I say a lot of them are well established they've been doing good work for ages and, and we, yes, we, 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 we collaborate with a lot of them quite often. Already we've done this year, we've worked with two local societies that have had ongoing work and have invited us in to, to give them a wider picture of what's going on. Do you see this as a job or as a hobby? For me, it's an absolute passion. It's an, it's an absolute necessity to life. I'm just lucky that I've been able to do it as a career. Yeah.